I bought the Apple Watch Ultra, and I really shouldn't have. I mean, there's not an acceptable way to justify spending $800 on a new watch when I had the Series 7, and that did all the things that I needed. It, it, it was a green, it was the cool green color, and nothing at all wrong with it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I resisted for a time. When I walked by the Apple Watch display at Best Buy, I turned away. I turned my face away, I kept walking, but when you do YouTube and part of your job is to like look at other people's videos and then see what they're doing, it's hard to resist the FOMO. And the FOMO caught up with me finally about a month after it was released. I ordered a watch ultra with the army green uh, Alpine loop band and honestly, <laughs> I had buyer's remorse by the time I hit like buy. I almost went back to the Best Buy app and canceled the order, but curiosity got the best of me. So I went to the Best Buy, I picked it up. And once I got home, I was super psyched to get it out of the box, or at least not super psyched, you know, packaging. Once I got it out of the box, I found my first issue with the watch. The fit of the Alpine loop was great. It, it's got these like little loopy things in the band itself. It took me a minute to figure out then uh, how to do it, how to do it, and once I did, I found that my size was kind of in between two. It kind of was like too loose and too tight. Ultimately, it hasn't been that big a deal. I was sure the Apple Watch Ultra was going to be instantly too big for the wrist, and I'd find myself banging on the door jams and just a bang, 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 everything else. But that did not happen. In fact, after wearing it for a couple of days, I found that the Ultra was actually more comfortable. Uh, than the 45 millimeter Series 7 that I was used to wearing and definitely more comfortable than the Samsung Watch 5 Pro that I also have. That thing is like, you could like knock somebody over the head with it. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. The build of the Watch Ultra is really something to feel on your wrist to fully experience. Apple built this thing for the more outdoorsy types and it shows the case, titanium, it's molded to protect the crown and the buttons from getting knocked off during your wilderness adventures. Uh, the only real addition to the Ultra is this other button. They call it the action button. That's why it's orange. The purpose is to, well, launch actions. Out of the box, it's set to launch the workout app, which is convenient if you work out. Uh, gone are the days of hitting the digital crown and scrolling to the workout, the workout app and then hitting like outdoor walk or whatever. Uh, or looking through that terrible soup of <laughs> Apple Watch homepage that for some reason they haven't gotten rid of yet. It does make getting into workouts much quicker. Not that I've worked out all that much, but you know, you know what I'm saying. You can also set it for the stopwatch to just come on. And I think there are some other first party apps that'll do that. It's a very convenient button, but you are not going to spend $800 for a button. <laughs> what I found as I wore the Ultra more is that I actually use the watch more than any other Apple Watch I'd had to that point. Part of it is simply that the screen is larger. It's 49 millimeters instead of 45 millimeters, but for some reason, those extra four millimeters meant that I could actually get my fingers on the screen and do things with it, although swipe typing a text message is still impossible. <laughs> if the bigger screen is all it was, but I do use the Ultra more than just for notifications and to, you know, chide myself for not closing my rings and, you know, time, weather, that kind of stuff. The Apple Watch can do a lot more. I just never really bothered before, which made all the Apple Watches I had before kind of an expensive Fitbit. There are some apps that aren't on the other watches like depth detection for diving and there's a siren in case you're lost in the woods. It also will call emergency services if it detects that you've had an accident. And then there's the battery life, which has been the downfall of the Apple Watch since its inception. I never got more than a day and maybe like the morning on the battery of an Apple Watch before the Ultra. Now that battery life has doubled. I have gotten almost three days on this watch. Nothing spectacular, but a lot better than one day and a couple of hours. Now I can wear the watch to sleep and not worry about having no charge in the morning. And I've needed to do that a couple of times. Right after the first of the year, I was really, really sick with something, I don't know what it was. My fever got up to around 103 and my Ultra just kept warning me every 15 minutes that my heart rate was elevated, which I guess they tell me happens with a fever. 
All modern Apple watches will do that, but I was able to wear the watch ultra to sleep and still have a little extra peace of mind in case like I started to die in the middle. I don't know. It just made me feel better. And then there's the fact that I've worn the ultra pretty much every day since I got it. And I never, never did that with my other smartwatches. This, this has me closing my rings now, at least two of them. I had a 37 day stretch where I closed my move and stand rings every day. <laughs> my next goal is to also close the exercise ring, but I live in Iowa and it is cold and gross and depressing out here. So I, I'm, I'm hibernating. So as much as I thought I would definitely use the Apple Watch Ultra and then say it's not worth it and return it, it wasn't even really a thought when time came and went. I wanted to keep it. So does that mean that you should go out and buy the Apple Watch? Hell no. To the it's an $800 smartwatch. That's ridiculous. We all know we'll never do enough triathlons or diving or mountaineering to justify having it for the stated practical use. The Apple Watch Ultra is a flex. Look at me. I got the Apple Watch. Just like a lot of other Apple products. It's a flex. In this case, that has the goods to back it up. Contrary to popular belief, if you go against every ounce of sense in your body and you do buy an Apple Watch Ultra, you can at least take solace that in my experience, it's actually the best Apple Watch I've, I've ever used. It's the best Apple Watch that Apple's ever made. That's the video. Thanks so much for being here. Once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL, painfully honest tech, text honest, it hurts until the next time I am out.